if you're flying with those in your ship, they make some really weird uh, sounds and they will break your spaceship. So carrying them for any great distance is kind of dangerous, but people have been doing that. <laughs> and they've been carrying them here because, of course, they were worth a lot of money and people were really curious as to what they were. Anyway, I'm out here in my trusty Asp Explorer, the ship of choice for people that want to travel. Yeah, hourly long update. Economic speculation, blah, blah, blah. Community goal. Professor Ishmael Palin issues request for meta alloys. A remarkable discovery was made last week when non human structures were found on a number of planets in the Pleiades Nebula. These barnacles, as the gar galactic community has christened them, produce a material known Professor as. Professor wants alloys. to investigate these things, and the only way to uh, get them is to find these alien life forms, shoot them, and, you know, take the harvested meta-alloys back. We've got some more news on the ongoing story of the, the Antares, which was a spacecraft that got lost and apparently was destroyed as it exited hyperspace. Anyway, I'm hardly an expert on Greek mythology, so uh, let's actually talk about the Robigo Mines run. So, as I pointed out, you know, you could travel out to the station, make a lot of money, and some players didn't think this was particularly fair. They wanted people to be grinding the money out or whatever. So uh, some people got together, would you believe, and started transporting these unknown you know, artifacts. Point of interest signature. Uh, there we go. I love the sound of this. The asp, ha I've, I really like the, like the asp. Of course, I'm a big fan of the cobra, but the asp, because it has an extra weight to it, it's certainly not one that I want to take into combat, but as an exploration ship, it's fantastic. It does everything that I need, and it carries a whole lot. Yeah, I'm not really sure if that's the engine or the spacecraft, but look at that. It is alien life. And there are other strange sound effects that come out of this. The ambient noise that these things make is cool. There we go. It's life, Jim, but not as we know it. Yeah, this is a barnacle. I'm, I'm not sure if that is an official name or if that's a name that somebody coined. I, I suspect it's something that was coined by a player. The Frontier guys are pretty good at responding to what players do, especially players that are role-playing. Oh, listen to that sound. Listen to that. Let's go to the external mode. Yeah, that's the sound that barnacles make. I'm not sure if it's just music or if that's actually the sound they're supposed to make. Maybe they're singing. There, and there's some sort of weird symbol there that some people think is a reference to a nebula. Obviously, nothing under the ground at this time. Oh, and there's a flower on this one. Yes. That giant flower there. That is actually the that is the meta alloys i believe if you shoot these you're going to get pods like that and that one is especially large and transparent when i come in too close this asp is fitted for Excellent. We're just going to try and get over there as quickly as possible. I started in the Founder system with a Cobra Mark III and a bunch of cash, and I immediately fitted a fuel scoop so that I will be able to get across this vast gulf of space without actually stopping very often. 
I have switched it into single player mode because there does appear to be a lot of people in the system. There might be some stability. I'm hoping they fix that. But it just, in case something happens, I don't want to be dropping, I would only be you know, dropping out in the middle of a video because that's always problematic. Wow, this is a small bright star. It's a white dwarf. Sweet. Did not know the white dwarf existed. 